If there's one thing that's true for enterprises today, it's that the future belongs to the fast. We've never seen a period of more rapid technology introduction, which means that enterprises have to move quickly so they can take advantage of technology and adjust to the shifting competitive landscape that technology is driving. And that puts IT in a critical position. IT simply has to be more agile, has to be supporting the business in a faster way. So what gets in the way of moving fast? For most in IT, complexity is the anchor, which means that IT teams everywhere need to be looking to simplify their architectures and simplify their operations in support of a more agile business. From a networking context, enterprise IT has historically used a containment approach when dealing with complexity. If you think about the enterprise network, it's not really one network. It's a collection of smaller networks, the data center, the campus, the branch, the public cloud. What IT has done is used a divide and conquer approach, breaking that network into smaller pieces so that complexity can be isolated. Each of those domains has its own team. Those teams have their own priorities and their own budgets. They have their own operations and their own visibility and tools. And all of that stops at the hard boundary that exists around that particular domain. Now, to be clear, this is the only way to build a large distributed network for a global enterprise. So IT teams have done exactly what they needed to do. But as we stand on the precipice of cloud, that containment strategy is no longer valid. The entire promise of cloud and multi-cloud is that workloads can be anywhere. Users can be anywhere. And that means that those resources need to be managed as a cohesive set of resources with operations and visibility that extend end to end across the enterprise. This means that operating in a multi-cloud environment necessarily extends end to end. Multi-cloud isn't just about the data center. It's not just about the public cloud. You need to control the on-ramps to the cloud, which means that the campus and branch need to be in play as well. And it's not just end to end, it has to be top to bottom. Certainly you have to address connectivity. You have to be able to move packets across data center, campus, branch, and any number of public cloud instances. But once those resources are in place, you have to be able to orchestrate and manage them. This means that you need an end to end orchestration layer. Now orchestration itself is really a platform for automation. And automation is about seeing something and then doing something which means you have to have an end-to-end -end visibility layer. And finally, if we apply that in a security context, it means we have to have an end-to-end -end security solution. So as we connect, certainly we'll have different devices with different sizes. And if we want to simplify connectivity, we do that by using a common software layer. In one Junos, we have a common operating system that runs across x86-based devices in the branch, it runs across merchant silicon in both the campus and the data center. It runs across the largest custom silicon solutions on the planet for the interconnects. And it runs in virtual instances that run in Azure, in AWS, in GCP, and so on. By having a common OS, we have a common way of operating and a common way of integrating with that orchestration layer. Orchestration and visibility begin with Contra Enterprise Multicloud. It's about managing any cloud, any workload, any deployment. Any cloud can be a private cloud running in your own data center on-prem, but it can also be any public cloud, AWS, Microsoft Azure, uh, Google's GCP, and it can be any workload across those private and public clouds, ranging from bare metal servers, physical network devices like routers, switches and firewalls, but also public cloud instances and workloads that run in virtual machines and containers. And these can exist in any deployment. It can be a greenfield deployment with a small subset of solution types, but it can also be a brownfield deployment running alongside other vendor equipment and other vendor software. And using this as a common visibility layer, then we can stream real-time analytics from these different workloads so we can provide an automation platform to take care of operations. Finally, this platform becomes the security platform as well, extending security to OpenStack or VMware environments, integrating with Kubernetes or Mesos, running across public clouds like Amazon or Rackspace, and extending out into your private data center as well.
Now finally, the move from legacy architectures to a multi-cloud architecture is not likely to happen in one step. You don't purchase a multi-cloud architecture that is end-to-end -end and shrink-wrapped. Rather, you take advantage of naturally occurring refresh and expansion opportunities, allowing enterprises to move forward with every opportunity and become ever more multi-cloud ready. By combining an end-to-end -end, top to bottom solution with a prescriptive path to get from here to there, Juniper is enabling the multi-cloud for enterprises of all sizes.